Hey, what's up everyone? It is day four of this challenge. In today's video, I wanna talk about how to handle long running LLM tasks with workers, specifically with Django. So in most LLM applications, when you're querying the LLM, the responses can take a long time. And the way that most applications handle this is by streaming the response back to the user. So instead of the user having to wait for the entire response to be generated by OpenAI, as OpenAI is generating, as OpenAI is creating the response or generating the response, you can stream that back to the back end and to the front end, right? Which is a better user experience instead of having the user just sit there, right? Now that's great, but there's there's a little bit of a downside here, and that downside is that there are some applications that require for you to hand it off to your back end, let it do its work, let it do its job. This job can take 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe calling multiple APIs and doing multiple LLM calls. Uh, and then you get a response and maybe you can render that on the client side or send a text message to the user and say, hey, like your response is ready, right? Now, how would you handle that? So, Generally, if you have a task that takes that long, if a client is making a request, in that request, it, you could trigger that long task, right? But the client is waiting for a response. And so the downside to this is that you are using up resources on your back end, the, back, the same back end that's ha handling requests and responses to also do these long tasks. And the way you can solve this is by using workers and a queue. So what does that look like? It'll look something like this. So your client is gonna hit your back end. Your back end is gonna say, oh, hey, this is a long running task. Um, it's gonna push it into a queue that's created here by Redis and Celery. Then you'll have Celery workers picking up tasks from the queue and actually calling that, calling or uh, doing that long, executing that long running task, right? Uh, this is just a very simplified version. There's many other things you need to think about here for a production system. For example, what happens if a task fails? How do you handle uh, rate limiting so you're not querying OpenAI 100 times, et cetera, et cetera. But this is the general idea. I think a main thing that you can focus on here is this auto-scaling group. You can imagine that in a production environment, if your queue has a 1,000 tasks, you could set some parameters that would allow for your auto scaling group to either scale up and scale down to deal with the, uh, the amount of traffic that you're receiving uh, for your application, right? Without blocking your back end or blocking your client uh, in the regular request response lifecycle, right? So I made an app uh, that I'm gonna share down below. It's a Django application. And in this Django application, I have a long running task. Um, the main purpose of the task is just to show you an example of what a multi-step long running task could look like. Uh, taking a search parameter and querying OpenAI to get um, to get uh, many search parameters, like, uh, sorry, expanding the search into many different search parameters, and then getting answers for each one, and then call, making an, another uh, LLM call to group all of that together to give you a final answer, right? So this is a task, you could say it takes a little long, uh, but you know, some tasks could take this task probably only takes maybe like 10 seconds. Uh, other tasks could take minutes, right? And that's what this is, I think would be more helpful for, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up Flower. And so Flower is an interface that allows you to see how your workers are interacting with tasks that are coming into your queue, right? So these are some tasks that I just passed in and this is your Celery queue. And here's your worker. So I have one worker running right now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create three long tasks and then we're gonna see it pop into the queue. Worker, the worker is gonna pick it up, process it, and then, um, and then um, yeah, we'll, we'll see it complete. So right here in the shell, instead of having a front end, I'm just in, uh, interacting with it through the shell. I'm just gonna uh, spin up three um, tasks. So the first one is how can I teach my one week nephew to walk and read. I'm uh, gonna create another one, baby don't hurt me. Uh, and what is love? So you'll see over here, the tasks are in the queue. You'll see them coming in, see the status of them. 
okay and you'll see whether it's success or failure and if we go to our Django admin dashboard and I refresh you'll see those tasks there with a question and an answer right we do it one more time I'm gonna say what is love baby don't hurt me and how can I teach my, teach my one week nephew I'm gonna refresh and you'll see that the answer is not there right now baby don't hurt me came back pretty fast that it's not there right now that one's not finished yet um, refresh this I'm sure there's a bit of lag between the two but um, there you go anyway this was just a simple demonstration on how you could potentially uh, uh, handle these long-running tasks uh, and I think an important thing to, to mention here is that because you're deploying this service out yourself, you have full control over it, right? Um, uh, you could use other services that, are, that, that might be available to handle these long running tasks, but maybe that might not be great for your production environment, your company, um, the thing that you're building, whatever it is. And so if you wanted to handle that manually and do it yourself, um, this is kind of what the infrastructure and the application code, uh, what it would look like. Um, if you're interested in some of this, as I said before, I'm going to link the GitHub repo uh, down below. And if there's anything I can ever help with, if you're interested in doing this, please reach out uh, and let me know. That's it for today.